Blue Cross has been helping people access the care and coverage that they need. And here to share some healthy living advice this morning is Julie Logue, the training resource manager for Tivity Health and the Silver Sneakers Fitness Program. Julie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know that you are passionate about exercise and healthy living at any age. Talk more about what fuels that excitement for you, though. Uh, that's a real elf. I love to see the spark that it creates in people when they are able to find a type of exercise that they enjoy and something they can stick to. I think that there's nothing more rewarding than that. Yeah, and the type of work that you do is really inspiring because you are creating safe and effective workouts for older adults, which we know is so important. Why don't you talk about some of the best ways that people can maintain, you know, muscle strength, balance, mobility without having to go to the gym is the key part there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of options from exercising at home to exercising outdoors to um, engaging in online fitness options, you know, without going to a gym. I think that there are a lot of solutions there. Um, and to really, you know, be very basic with my answer, I think just regular physical activity is the key to maintaining mobility and strength and balance. But if you really want to fine tune your workout regimen, then you can pursue activities that are more focused on uh, strength training and resistance training, on aerobic training or training your heart to get you through the day, um, as well as flexibility training. And then I always recommend that um, seniors do skill drills for fall prevention. So these are activities like power drills, balance drills, agility drills, and that will all help uh, prevent falls and help with fall recovery should a fall happen. Yeah. Why don't you give us some examples of what these drills are, whether it's, you know, walking from the couch to the kitchen or what, what are some examples that people can do to stay active, especially during COVID-19? So I think walking programs are wonderful. Um, an example agility drill would be just instead of walking forward and back, um, walking around in a circle. So um, again, very basic. Or if you enjoy uh, strength and resistance activities like squatting, changing the speed with which you squat. So maybe dropping your hips down quickly and then standing up nice and slow, those will all help uh, target those uh, skill drills for fall prevention. Mm -hmm. Those are some great examples that I <laughs> can certainly see anyone at any age being able to do. Julie Logue, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Philly Live and sharing those really helpful tips. No problem. Thanks so much for having me.